there's an eerie silence at this textile factory. The wheels of industry have come to a near grinding halt. The majority of looms have been silent for 18 months. Its owner spoke to us on a condition of anonymity to protect what little he has left in terms of a business. First of all, implementation of GST was not good. Too many hassles. Then economic downturn all over the world, not just India, but all over the world. And uh, too much changing in government policies. Too many trade barriers coming up in export markets. His concerns are shared by many of the 14,000 textile factory owners in the city. Many say they've seen their profits plummet by 25% and had to lay off workers. They are in trouble. For one industry leader, the whole system needs to be looked at. He says industrialists are having to make hard choices about where to invest and how many staff to employ. The government rushed to apply GST and hasn't got it right. Tax refunds are needed to complete the financial circle and keep businesses afloat. They are not refunded and stuck with government, so businessmen are dipping into profits to run their factories until they are reimbursed. Lightweight. Vishal Kumar's factory produces clothing and is running smoothly despite the financial headwinds. He told me it's tough to juggle both the new taxes, keep products competitively priced and his 250 staff employed. Those in the textile industry are not the only ones concerned about the impact the economic slowdown is having. The International Monetary Fund says the Indian government needs to spend in areas such as construction and infrastructure to kick-start the economy. And they need to re-evaluate their relationship with other nations and economic blocs to make their exports attractive. Navneet Kaur Arora has been designing high-end women's wedding clothing for 20 years. Her profits are down and she's had to lay off 20% of her seamstresses. Here people have, st uh, have reduced their uh, spending power on clothes. They have been curtailing on, you know, the on uh, putting up and investing on the right clothes at the right time. People do not worry about that they need a handwork. They may even go for a commercial product. Uh, they should, it should look fancy, but it should be cheap. That is what people are looking for. The textile industry continues to discuss its financial woes with the government, hoping both sides can find a way forward to secure jobs and their economic future. With global demand down and a domestic market cautious about spending, the future doesn't look too promising. Sahil Rahman, Al Jazeera, Ludhiana, Punjab.